Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome to the video. Hi, I should be in college right now, but I decided to take a gap here to travel across the US in my van. Now, we're currently out here in Big Sur, California on the Pacific Coast Highway or Highway 1, also known as the most beautiful highway in the US. But you see, to get here, I've been on the road for about two months now, and none of this would have been possible without the help of my van, Rolanda the Honda. Rolanda is my mom's 2012 Honda Odyssey and what a beauty she is. She's racked on about 10,000 miles since the beginning of this trip, but beyond mileage, she's gone through quite the transformation into my little home. So I asked my mom if I could borrow her in August, and with her approval, construction began in September. So first, I took out the seats and the car mat. Then I vacuumed the car and hosed down the mat. Next came measuring dimensions of the bed and then building its wooden base. Shout out to Apogee for hard carrying me on the woodwork. That day I learned that cutting wood is very difficult. I then started drilling together the wooden planks to make the bed. Now, after the wood frame was painted, we put it into the car to check the fit, and luckily it did. Finally, we put bins underneath for storage, and Rolanda was ready for van life. So, why don't we begin the tour? Now, first, as you can see here, we have our amazing bed currently on top of this wooden platform, and this right here, this cushion, happens to be the mattress topper that I had in college before I decided to dip from school. Now underneath all this, I have my storage. So what's really cool about this cool white thing is that there's a string and just lift it up. And there we go, we have our food supply. So I just stash all of my food here as well as in this ice box right here. So if you look to the left here, our car is currently on sleep mode, which means that this is up here on top of this platform instead of on the floor. Um, I put this up so I can have more room to just chill around, you know, you know, eat some food, do some work. Just chilling on my nice plastic chair right there. And I just take it out, put it right here, do some work on this table. Very nice. And in this box right here, we just happen to have some miscellaneous cooking tools. We have a Brita. We got some baby wipes. We got some more baby wipes right there. Now let me take a second to introduce these guys. These guys uh, keep me from going completely crazy from being alone on the road. Here we have Kyoter, Kyoter the Panda. And then next we have Iliak, Iliak the Corgi. So, Pyotr Iliak. This is the first and middle name of Pyotr Iliak Tchaikovsky because um, as someone who really loves music theory, he is one of my most favorite composers. So, what do you think his name is? Pyotr Iliak. His name is Jared. Jared the Donkey Kong, yeah. Now if you look underneath, there we have my clothing. And now let's move to the trunk. We have the garage. Here I have all the shoes that I wear. I have two pairs of shoes right here. I have another trusty little thing that I can just take out and then put my shoes on. And then here we have all of my car supplies um, just in case I get screwed over and tire goes flat and everything. And here we have some Costco pho. Pho is my life source. You know, being on the road, it's really difficult to get authentic pho, especially when you're in the Midwest and there are no Asian people. Now here's a pretty good look from the back. We have the bed, we have the pho, we have the container there in sleep mode. We have the garage, the other supplies and tools. Now let's go to the front. Okay, first we have our phone here, which I use all the time, which is always connected to my trusty little wire, which goes all the way down to this big guy. Without him, I would be completely screwed. This is my portable battery, and it serves up to 25 charges of my phone, three charges of my laptop, and 
It is extremely convenient. I have the coffee that I had this morning. Got that big freaking water bottle, 40 fluid ounces. Now if you look on the passenger side, we have this very comfortable seat for all my passengers. I have this here so I can sit on it when I'm back there doing work in the car. Got my yoga mat that I've never used. Now up here, I have my police radar detector. Now I don't know if this is legal. It's probably not legal in all states, but I use it anyway. It's really good so I don't get caught speeding because speed tickets cost a crap ton of money. And I'm out here uh, traveling while I'm broke. So very helpful investment. Here we have my air freshener. Very good. It is off brand. It is still really good. If you look right there, I have my very trusty sunglasses that I can put on top of my glasses. You can tell that they go all the way around. And when I was in Colorado, I accidentally broke off this side, but it still works. Look at that. Good as new. Now if you look on the left side, we have the other view of the car. That was the view that we saw last time. Now we have this. Then we have this eight gallon just of water just in case I need it here. Regular hose water, very helpful uh, for like brushing teeth, washing hands. We have some drinking water all right here. And lastly, we have the splendid pee bottles. Very helpful. Pop out one of these, close all the blinds. And now as we conclude our tour, I just want to show you one really cool thing about living in a van, which is security. First, we have the pocket knife. Very helpful very versatile good for inside the car combat second we have pepper spray very good for when someone is trying to get into the car and i don't want to get destroyed Let's spray them in the face third we have bat which is very good for complete all-out combat now last and definitely most misleading we have the flashlight just kidding the tangent so i'm going to put all the components on my van build as well as their costs on the screen now And this all sums up to a grand total of... Now as you can see, that total really isn't that much money. Much less than what you would expect to be able to travel the entire US alone. Now I want my experience to prove to you that not having thousands of dollars in your bank account is not a good enough excuse to not make your dreams come true. I was able to travel the US for a fraction of the cost that many of these Instagram influencers and crazy van life YouTubers were able to do. So if you have a dream and money is holding you back, try to find alternative ways to make it come true. Just like I did, sleeping in this minivan at truck stops for days at a time. So to sum things up, don't let your dreams be dreams and just do it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour of my little home here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.